defende me to see your probio no <laughs> You can run New York State, but all the streets are full of hate. When he comes to town, here is what we say. Mario Resende May, to see your probio no Mario, Mario. I think I'm going to make that my theme instead of that same old Rocky thing that we hear. It's so stupid. It comes on with Rocky. Who the hell is he kidding? Rocky. Who do I think I am anyway? That should be my theme right there. <laughs> In case you're wondering, that was a gentleman who called a program yesterday and all of a sudden he burst into song. <laughs> <laughs> singing his message to the ultimate smart chief. Well, the matter at hand, that gentleman didn't know about the Mario song and what that was all about. Mario Azenda was a governor in Italy who had the habit of speaking at length and making no sense at all. So when the king heard this, he ordered him dragged through town while the crowd sang this song, and this is from Act 3, Scene 2, Mario Azenda May. Mario Azenda May I dropped the phone. I'm holding it on my neck, Bob. I did the best I could. I guess the original will have to stand. Oh, I appreciate and that. And Patricia Ireland, I know why she doesn't like the church, because I saw a picture of her. She has no backside, and when she sits on the wooden pew, she hears the bones knocking. Well, she she talks about the glass ceiling. With her neutered husband and her lesbian wife, she should be more concerned with mirrored ceilings. How sick, how sick. You're, you're, I don't mean you, but her. Bye. Th thank you, Marty. Bye. No on the roof. I'm a registered Republican, and I just want to tell, not the Democrats, but just Republicans out there, that they should go to the post office if they're not registered, and they get a reg simple registration form, and hurry up. I don't know if it's too late yet, but check it out. And um, just in case anyone... Forgets, October 14th is the deadline in New York. October 11th is the deadline in uh, New Jersey. Good. So they can contact either the Republican Club in the phone book or go right to the post office. They'll give them all the information they need so we can get rid of the spot cheap. And just so no one forgets whose name to put on the ballot there, we just want to say... George Pataki will cut our taxes, help us keep our homes. George Pataki will fend our welfare, leave our kids alone. George Pataki will cut our taxes, oh, and by the way, Mario Azendame, do the Aproviano Swachim. He can run for his fourth term, but now the people we have learned when he comes to town. Here is what we say, Mario is in the way. To the Aproviano Swachim, it's Mario. Time's up, Mario. George Pataki's coming in. Mario. Anyhow, <laughs> <laughs> Bob, that's all today. Hey, you're all right, buddy. We're gonna... Forum, I did. Well, Mayor Koch agrees with Senator Al, and he supported him. Uh, he agrees with George Pataki on the death penalty. He agrees with George Pataki's tax cut plan, and he goes to Mario. So Mayor Koch repays those little favors. He calls Ma Molinari a political hack. Uh, he said he went for Senator Al because Al D'Amato did him favors when he was the mayor. And he said now he's going for Mario because he did him favors when he was governor. He's going to stick by him. Um, but he called you a racist, Bob. Oh, he did? Yes. I said May he's not a racist. And he goes, oh, what about that uh, men's room attendant remark? You know, uh, you anyone who listens to you knows what you meant by that. It's because of a... a oh, please, matter. I don't have to defend it or explain no, nobody it. Nobody has to defend you. But I, I had to before him. Governor Cuomo said of Mayor Dinkins, oh, he wears those double-breasted suits if he just didn't wear so many fancy suits. Um, and, and, and Jackie Mason said of him... Uh, yeah, we know what Jackie Mason said. So, uh, Marty, look, um, I don't need any defense, especially 
if you're talking about a a Paul who uh, who still is bitter over the fact he didn't get a fourth term. And that's, uh, I'm going to see whether the Spachim is just as bitter over not getting a fourth term I, as uh, as Eddie Koch. I got a little more. May I, As far as I know, Bob, you never appeared in blackface. Mayor Koch appeared, and he called you a racist today, but Mayor Koch appeared in blackface, and I believe the song he sang at that little carnival dinner where he was making fun of black people was, I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I have an updated version of that uh, Spachimalot song. Um, All right, let's, let's tape it. Uh, wait a minute, let me alert uh, our technical department. All right, we're prepared to tape it. Okay. Mayor Koch also called Maya Kahani the scum of the earth. So apparently it's okay in Mayor Koch's dictionary to call someone the scum of the earth. Marty, uh, okay. what do you do when you're not listening to WABC? Oh, I know. Cement work. You're sleeping. That's right. I do cement work. <laughs> yeah, you do cement work. My foot. <laughs> You're addicted to this radio station, Marty. You should get a life, really. No, you know why I can listen? Because I have the, uh, the uh, ABC survival kit. That's headphones for when I'm working in the field. Uh, oh, really? In the truck. Radio at home, radio in a truck. And I mean, radio. don't misunderstand me. I'm not complaining. I, oh. The more people that listen to this radio station, the better it is for me. But I, I often wonder, does anybody have a life? I mean, is it just <laughs> constantly listening to what uh, guys at this end of the line are saying are we that important i saw what that new york magazine did to you and i saw the way that your friends on this station have run away from you and may have caught my friends well no john Manelli didn't run away what are you talking well, about i said his broadcasting friends like limbaugh who had said not nothing and you defended him and Koch who ran away and Koch said to me that you were never his friend and tell him that tell the uh, helmet had well that. that's true we were never friends okay uh, we were never friends here's for uh, well, the only thing i don't understand is his hostility toward me i think it's a little um you know, a little more than I thought. The, the only thing I can attribute it to is the fact he doesn't like that I remind people of his uh, ne uh, the necessity that he has to go through his act all the time of the equivalency, the Kahana Duke equivalency. I got something. That magazine cover said you hate blacks, and I have in your words when I called you and you said I, you cannot hate Al Sharpton. Listen to this. It's eight seconds long. You'll miss it if you don't listen. But we'll be happy. Cover. Now, here's the updated version. You ready? Yes. Okay. In your own words, I, you can't hate Al Sharpton. They put on a cover. They're liars. Okay. Cuomo was elected years ago here. Mayor Koch is standing by his side. Yes, Eddie Koch repays those little favors. Svachimalat. Children may not worship through their school years. Abortion on demand, it rules the day. He never met a crook he didn't coddle. Swashimalot, he wants a do 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 Swashimalot, Swashimalot. I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but Swashimalot, Swashimalot. Those are his legal laws. Welfare sheets are paid for by the workers, gays and faggots running every school. In fact, they're simply not a more liberal socialist plot. But we'll be happy ever after when we're free from such evil. There Marty, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You are a talented young man. Well, don't hang in there, Bob, because Lynn Samuels called me a racist and banned me for five months, and she still won't let me in there. So good, good for all of them, Bob. Take care. I, I didn't really believe he would call me. However, he did tell a reporter uh, he was not going to turn his back on me, so no reason to do so. So, Marty, let's be fair. All right, Bob, but that doesn't clear the Democrats, and okay, we'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. They're treating you as if you've been convicted of a crime, and I'll say here, Bob Grant has not been convicted of any crime. To pull these Amtrak ads by Lausenberg should be investigated. And uh, this whole conspiracy against you because they know you pull votes. And I'll say of Lausenberg a song 
which uh, Rogers and Hammerstein from their grave on Halloween had transposed to me. And it goes something like this. Lausenberg, Lausenberg, stops our free speech forever. Tax and spend, tax and spend. He looks happy to tax me. Old and annoying, he'll tax and spend. You are a talented man, you know that? You know what's going on. I, I think I got one Mario song in Isn't, that, isn't uh, that from that Julie Andrews uh, play? Right, with Julie Andrews and my Rogers and Hammerstein, and we got the uh, Going with the Wind's going to be on Thursday at 8 o'clock for anybody who cares about tradition and something that was good. Hattie McDaniel, the first black woman to win a Best Supporting Actress uh, Academy Award. And uh, Bob Grant, you're an equal opportunity a slanger, as you said. Hatchet Face Holtzman, Mario to Spachim. And, and all through Flim Flam Florio and Slick Willie. And um, if they want to stop our free speech. Uh, I wish I was on that boat tour you've been talking about. I go down with you. Now, I'm going to be banned from my free speech because I'm going to call Rudy Giuliani a slimy greaseball. There, I'm Italian-American. I'm a Catholic. You like that, Rudy? You're going to ban me, too? All Rudy cares about, Bob, is that he can get the money from Clinton. That's why he was on with the crime bill and campaign, and he can get a billion dollars out of that. Now he knows Cuomo's going to give welfare to New York City. So, Rudy... <laughs> But let me just say for uh, your endorsement, uh, for Mario, because you, if you win, Mario, I'm still going to be able to sing this song. You got the 10 seconds for the song here, Bob? Yes, Marty. Mario was in the main. Do the appropriate swatch team. You're out the door in 94. You like Rudy, he's your friend now, but you're a fake pony fraud. But when you come to town, the real taxpayer is going to say, Hey, Mario, attend the me. Mario, attend the me. To see a problem of a Out the door in 94. Mario. Good night, Mr. Grant. Ah, hi, Marty. <laughs> talented man, talented man. Marty calling from Suffolk County. Start up with that Rocky theme, you know, go something like. What is this, a piano recital? What are you doing? Nah, just doing that. That's that Rocky theme. You came out swinging. We may lose in the end, but you go 15 rounds, Bob. And, uh,. We're not losing the end. I'm not losing anything. I mean, our cause. I'm not, I'm not running for election. Rudy and, Cur and Christy Whitman, we're like Republicans are in a boat rowing in different directions while the Democrats just keep rolling along. Anyway, let me just finish up. I wrote a song for that same... Well, I, I would hope you'd get to the doggone song, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I just upset Because we don't have that kind of time. Please, get to the song, please. When Governor Whitman needed a friend I want to take this opportunity to thank you and to thank your listeners for their support. The once a week rule, once a week. Uh, prior to the election, Marty from Long Island, who composed the uh, Mario song and uh, other tunes, called a program. And of course, Marty is not going to try to break the once a week rule. And even if he tried it, I would catch him and I wouldn't allow it unless I were to give him a dispensation. I just have a feeling that in the wake of the Cuomo defeat and the Pataki victory, the, within, you know, in the wake of the outcome of yesterday's election, that maybe you wouldn't mind if Marty were to call and um, commemorate, commemorate that historic day in song in his unique fashion. So I say this, if Marty does call, I'm talking to Mr. Kachopoli, our esteemed judicious director in the booth, Mike Mimone's assistant. I say this to you, Mr. Kachopoli. If Marty from Long Island calls, we are going to waive 
only in his only in his case we're going to waive the once a week rule oh mr bob grant i have a post-election mario song and as a serious person i must say Yippee! all right Ma we did give marty the dispensation uh, we gave him a dispensation uh, so go ahead, Marty. Okay, I could have danced all night. I can fit this in. I just want to say that it's been 24 hours since Ground Zero. The people have rejected the gay rights and new age of uh, philosophy. And in the words of John Kennedy, the condition of this old and youthful nation is good. So Mario needs a new job. He could live as a troll under a bridge and if it heals. Matilda could get a job betting on races, you know, race riots, that is. But his reputation followed him to his new jobs. So we said... Um, about Mario, he started his new job, and uh, we don't know what's going to happen with him here. So he says, Mario, then the May. Mario's out of work. Mario needs a job. Gotta get up like the rest of the slugs. And on his first day, all the workers sing. Mario, grab them up. Swap the decks and make them clean. Mario, he's out the door in 94. <laughs> That's the best I could do on short notice, Bob. You're a trooper. You're a you, real trooper. You know, um, to see uh, Chuck Itayan come back, you're still the kingmaker, Bob. He had to come back and kiss your ring. And that's where he should have been in the first place. Would have done him better. Well, he only he only hurt himself, and uh, it's too bad because uh, I still think he would have been an improvement over what we have now. But uh, Well, you know what, Bob? This was a repudiation of Clinton. I'll say this. We shot off both legs of Bill Clinton, politically speaking. We took the House and the Senate. And this makes Bill Clinton the third leg of the operation which he was born to be. I truly believe that the heart of this country is good. They've witnessed firsthand what Bill Clinton is and this philosophy, this new age, draft dodging, dope smoking, child killing, flag burning group is. And we've seen them. In 92, they had an excuse. They were ignorant. They didn't know what this man was. They gave him a chance. They have seen for two years uh, blatantly what this man is and what this group and Hillary Clinton, who's hiding like a rat in a potato salad lately, right? We've seen what they are, Bob. And I was waiting for two years since I hang out that black flag uh, November two years ago when he won. For three days of official mourning, I hang out that black flag, Bob. And I've waited two years. And that's when I turned on to you guys and listened to you and followed you and seen the people react. And this is the only format. Talk radio is the only place where you can hear a, a little bum like Marty from Long Island or Joe from, uh, John from Staten Island or, or, or David from Irving. Any of these people. Television doesn't listen to me. Newspapers don't listen to me. You, Bob Grant, listen to us. This is the only place the people have to go. And, and you, we've, we've stuck together. And I think the people have truly spoken. And I think we're going to see a grand uh, years ahead of us. The Republicans, if they stick with that contract, uh, we're going to have something to really deal with here. That slams a lid on uh, Mario Cuomo, Bob. All right, you... Uh... Yes? I was almost tempted to have you do the sign-off, but... All right, I'll do the sign-off. Oh, all right. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen, here's Marty signing off today's Bob Grant Show. Slams the lid on Spachima Lot. <laughs> Good night, buddy. All right. Two people I know of prominence who won't go on your show, Christy Whitman and Al Shoffman. Can you imagine how foolish... Can you imagine if Bob Dole says, I'm going to lay low? But I know you're short, and we're getting to the end here, so I got just ten seconds of a song for Christmas. Oh, great, great. Go ahead, buddy. When Governor Whitman needed a friend, and we said we'd be there through thick and through thin, and Bob, you put yourself out because you are a champ. That's why the lady, she's a tramp, she's a tramp. Vice President? I don't think so, because she's a tramp. <laughs> there it is, Bob. Have a good, a good day. Huh? You know, Marty, you are a very talented guy. You're a very talented guy. Tell that to Lynn Samuels. Maybe she'll let me on. I've been banned for a year, but I still listen to her. Uh, any any uh, chance yep. that on the 5th of March, that's a Sunday, Marty. I know you go to church, but this is in the afternoon. Is that the Leukemia-thon? If you could make it to the Leukemia-thon... Out there at the famed Rio Diner, the greatest diner in the history of diners in the heart of Woodbridge, uh, Lorraine Seidel of the Leukemia Fund. Uh, everybody would love you know to what? see you there. They locked up Colin Ferguson. He's in a court case. I guess I could take a train from Long Island. But I remember last time, Christy Whitman was there for charity. I guess well, she's, she, she, she's not going to be there. She's, she's a low-life boss. No, no, no. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's not going to be there. Good. Uh, 
you know, so so don't worry well, about... kids with leukemia might be smeared with the good name of Bob Grant. Well, no, no, come on now. No, I got no mercy. Know. When I saw her on the Brinkley show Sunday, and I was, she's a preening, you know what she is, Bob? She's a candy ass. She's soft, weak, and if she is the future Republican Party, we are in a mess. She's a liberal who's just, she's a preening woman who just is out, and, and she has no backbone or spine, and she's, uh, the golden spoon never left her mouth. Well, I tell you, Marty, when you get down on somebody, you really get down on them. She did somebody I like wrong, Bob. Have a good night. But now, wait. Yeah? Are we going to see you at the Rio on Sunday, March 5th? I'll make the... It's a long trip for me, but I'm going to keep it in mind. I listened every year for about two, three years now. You've been doing it. George Stein... Oh, tell Jay Diamond. He's got to uh, fool George Steinbrenner with the uh, Phil Rizzuto routine. Jay's going to be there. Get Lionel's going to be there. Get Steinbrenner before he leaves the state. Jay's going to be there. Lionel's going to be there. Uh, away with language, Marty. <laughs> that great victory down there with Pat Buchanan. We was always... That was a Stephen Foster song that Al Jolson never sang. Louis know. He took Alaska's. He took Alaska's over there, and nobody gave him credit. <laughs> and then, hey, you got to pardon me a little bit. I got a little clinton What's the matter? What happened? I, I got a little clinton that oh, That's no. with a G, clinton yeah. yeah, I got it. Because I, it. I was yelling, because we know what a bum, and a, I, I, I hate to use the type of language and just say real. So don't, Marty. Just right, make, believe right. you're in a, make, believe, make believe you're in a high-class room. I'm not going to say that he's a bastard. You're right, On Jay. WABC, this is Jay Diamond. Marty will not be on with me, John, for at least six months. I'm really tired of Marty's real low-class, real low-life approach. And he thinks he's getting over when he does this, who he thinks he's impressing. It was obvious to me that Marty was hoarse, not because he was celebrating the victory of his, his political candidate, but because Marty is a drunken sot, who I've warned never to call here drunk again. And now Marty not only will not get on me drunk, but I'm going to fix it that he doesn't speak to Bob Grant because Marty is a low-life drunkard who will be wiped off of the station once and for all. I'm in New York. I live in Long Island. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're getting me nervous, and I do want to record your song, but, okay. uh, but uh, hang on a minute. Sure. Are you telling me that you have been banned by another host on this radio station? Yeah, no, it brings it up to two. But, you know, uh, just wait, you, I haven't listened. You have been banned by a host on this radio station? Yes. Yeah. Just, well, I think there are other reasons behind it, but basically, I, I don't... Do you want to tell me who that host was? Uh, I'm, I, that, my point's not to cause trouble, order. Yeah, you won't be causing trouble. How would that cause trouble? You've been banned by who? Well, the guy was always good to me, but I just don't listen to the station. I mean, to that time. Who banned you? <laughs> let's just say that they... Jay Diamond? They, let's say they have a lot of... Jay news. Diamond banned you? Unfortunately, I listen to the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock news. I hate TV, but... Jay Diamond banned you? Well, what are you going to do? I, I just... Why, why are you so afraid to say Jay Diamond banned you? Because he had me on a lot, and, and I, I just... That wasn't my point. My point was that our words... Why were you banned by Jay Diamond? Because I used this, uh, 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 an English word that is not apparently used. It. When this guy from Rutgers was fired for saying what he said uh, because of the discrepancy in black college scores, I said it wasn't as if he said, go kill the blacks or go kill the coons. Oh, I, mean, I see, I see. And well. that was it. But, you know, there's a group called NWP, uh, Niggas with Attitude. They can use these words, but we can't. They're banning bugs. Bunny, Dumbo, do I, do, I, uh, do you have time for the song? Or Certainly. I'll make how, it how long does the song take? It's the Mario song. Ready? Here it goes. Mario, right in the rain, to the Aprovianos, you can sell Doritos chips, but this time, Mario, you're out of your poker chips, and when you come to town, all the people sing, Mario, right in the rain, to the Aprovianos, stay on the radio, Mario, because I need a reason to sing this song, Mario! Uh, that our efforts will not be unintended. Here we go. It's a little one for Lausenberg. All right. Lausenberg, Lausenberg, you look happy to tax me. Tax and spend, tax and spend. Liberal or life forever. Liberal or life with tax and spend. Tax and spend forever. Lausenberg. Have a great vacation, Bob, and let us know uh, if you stop on the shores of great sunny New Zealand, let us know what it's like down there. Oh, 